I've gone through TSA a few times in the last couple months and I wanted to describe those experiences, let you know how they went for me so you can kind of get an idea of what to expect in your travels through the airport, through TSA. So the very first time I traveled with a hair topper, my first time going through TSA with a hair topper, I was traveling with friends. Now, some of them knew I wore toppers, but some of them didn't. So this was really an experimental trip for me. I had to go through one smaller airport and one major airport, just so that you know. And what I decided to do, I decided to wear a beanie since it was around winter time, it was snowing out where we were going. So I thought, okay, perfect. I'll wear a beanie, we'll see how it goes. So I go through TSA, I have my beanie on. They didn't ask me to take off my beanie before going through the scanner. It was one of the scanners where you do this thing and it feels all awkward. So I go through it and then they pause. They have me pause for a second. I'm like, oh no, here it comes. <laughs> and they were like, ma'am, can you please remove your beanie? And I was like, okay, perfect. Here's a little hint, by the way, as you're removing a hat or a beanie and you're doing it in front of people and you wanna make sure it doesn't mess up the way your topper looks, I like to hold on to my hair right here and you can just pull up and off of your head. So, so I took off the beanie, then they, what they did was they asked to look at the beanie. So they examined the beanie and then gave it back to me and they said, thank you. So that was a huge relief. They didn't make me take it off. They didn't ask me anything about my hair, which was great. They didn't really even pay attention to my hair at all. They were more interested in the beanie. So I did that on both the flight to and from my destination. Didn't have any other issues. Both times they asked me to remove the beanie. I did, they looked at it and then let me go on my way. Now the second time I traveled with my hair chopper, I didn't want to wear a hat or a beanie. I wanted to see what would happen if I didn't have anything else on top of my head. So, and I was traveling solo this time, I felt a little bit more comfortable experimenting just to see what would happen. So, I went ahead, I did the normal, you know, take off the jacket, take off the shoes, I don't have pre-check or anything fancy, I had to do the scanning thing again. I walked through the scanner and nothing happened. Literally, they just sent me on my way both times, there and on the way back. So I didn't have any issues whatsoever. They didn't pay any attention to my hair. Now, this was a huge relief for me and it also made me think and realize how many people with extensions or clip-ins or bobby pins TSA sees on a daily basis. So even though it may or may not have come up with the metal clips in my hair, it may or may not have flagged anything, but to them, it wasn't even worth having a discussion. So it was a huge relief for me and I thought I would share that with you.